Welcome back to our project, uh, Dice Poker. In the first episode, we made a die class, and in the second episode, we used that die class to make a dice hand. And we created a couple of methods to roll the dice that uses super, uh, which tells the program to look in the parent class, which in this case is dice. And so it rolls it five times and then it places it inside the array dice hand the, and we use the get face value method in the die class to get the value of the die and then we made a two string method that we called print dice hand to print out the results of our when we roll the die five times and you can see down here that our dice hand is two three six one and five. So we have nothing in this case because we have one of each. And we would, you could say you have a straight, but we're only going to say we have a straight when we have uh, one, two, three, four, five in, um, in a row. So actually, we're missing four anyway. So anyway, let's go on. And uh, what we need to do is have a method to store the dice hand and allow us to total up what we actually have. So under my methods I'm going to write a method called public void store dice hand and then I'm gonna use a loop to go through the array that holds my die rolls, so for int i is equal to zero, as long as i is less than dice hand array dot length. And notice here that we don't use parentheses because uh, arrays are not classes, only array lists are classes and therefore have methods like size. Um, now strings have length but they have parentheses at the end of them because the string is actually a class or an array is not so it's something to remember and then so we can do i plus plus count up if each time through the loop and we're gonna make an array called counts and then this array is going to B7 long. So let's go up to our fields and make this array. So we're going to say private int counts is equal to new int and we want it to be 7 long. Now why do we want it to be 7 long? It's because a die has um, values 1 through 6 and an array starts storing at 0. So what we're going to do is Basically, when we initiate this array, what we're getting is um, counts, which is equal to, and then a bracket, and it's going to be seven places for zeros, five, six, seven. So we can store any, we're going to ignore this place, and we're going to store any ones that we get here, any twos we get here, any threes in this position in the array. 4's in this position array, 5's in this position array, and any 6's we get in this position of the array. So that's why we need 7. So this is location 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So now we can go back down to our counts array and normally in here you would find an index number but in this case we're actually going to pass in the value of the dice hand array so dice hand at position i so the first position is zero so in this case down here two is at that position and so since this is normally an index number here or, um, because arrays work on the index um, of the array then but we're using the dice hand position um, as our index so th the first position in the dice hand is 0 which is the 2 
So now we're going to say counts at 2 goes in here. And what we want to do is add to the 2 place. So what, what's happening up here is that we're going over to the 2 place, 0, 1, and 2. And we're adding basically 1 when it goes through the loop. Now the second time through the array, i is now 1. It's still less than the hand length. So we'll go ahead and count up. And now we're at position 1 in the die hand, which is 3 here in our latest roll. And so we want to count up plus plus. This is the accumulator, like i plus plus right here, or count plus plus. So this is an accumulator, and so we want to count at, since this is 3, we're going to go to counts at 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and we're going to count up 1. So then the next time through the loop, i is 2. i is still less than the length, which is 7. So we'll count up. Now we're at position 2, which is a 6. So counts at 6, we want to add 1. So we go over here to the 6s, and we add 1, which is actually position 7, because remember, we added that 0 in there so that we could um, add to the different positions at position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so if you continue through there, this process, you've got a 1, which you're going to add, and a 5 you're going to add. So we're going to add another one to position 1, and another to position 5. So you can see here that we have one of each thing, but we don't, because we're missing 4, we don't have a straight at all. So we really got nothing in this roll. So I'm going to save this. And I'll go ahead and compile. Oh, I'm missing an equal sign. And oh, and I'm missing a curly brace here. So if we go back to our dice poker game and we run this again, now you're seeing we're getting the 6, 3, 5, 2, 5. So we have a pair of fives. And if we go through this process again, at position 1, so i is 0, i is less than the length of 7, we are now at position 1 in the count. And we'll add 1. I mean, we're at position 3, because dice hand at the first position is a 3. 3 at index 0 is a 3. So we go up to the top here and we look at the this has been cleared out so let's go ahead and clear this out. And this is just of course a comment that I'm using to show you how this method works here. So we have one at position 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to add 1. And then you go through it again and you can see that um, we're still less than 7 so we're going to go through again so now it's 1 at position 1 we have a 6, so we'll go, so this number right here, dice hand at i, at position 1 is 6, so counts at 6, we want to add 1, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we add 1. And if you continue this process, we've got to add 1 at 5, then 1 at 2, and then another at 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, Three. Oh, I missed. Added it in the wrong place. So we add two there actually because we have two fives. So you can see that we have a pair. And so this little um, method here will store our values in an array based on what we have, and we can now determine whether we have um, a, a pair, a triplet, two of a um, two pairs, etc. And we actually know what they are because they're at index. But the index at us tells us that we have 1, 3, 1, 4. I'm, um, I'm sorry, 1, 2, 1, 3, no 4s, 2 5s, and a 1. So we have one pair of 5s. And we can use this counts array now to determine what, we, um, what kind of hand we have. And we will build that hand evaluation method in our next video. See you next time.